Hey there, scholars. Uh, today, for novel studies, uh, we're going to be going over the vocab from the story we just read called The Gold Coin. So, if you don't have it yet, go grab your composition notebook or your notebook that you're using for novel studies, um, and then we split it in half for novel studies and then go ahead and go through that was thank you ma'am and what I did is I left this page blank for any notes or just in case some of you needed that extra page so I'm just moving on to this next page right here um, so the story we read is called the gold coin And we are working on vocab. Okay, the first word that we are going to be looking up is insistent. So, number one, insistent. insistent all right the second question we're going to look up and I'm going to leave myself one two three four five six seven about eight on the eighth line I'm gonna put a two and I'm gonna be looking up the word vague vague you can make it capital if you want. You don't have to make it capitalized. And the last question that I am going to look up, or last word I'm going to look up, is called, I'm going to skip one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm actually only going to skip seven that time. Three is the word ransacked. When you go to look up this word, you might have to look up the word ransack because we have the ed at the end, which makes it past tense. So it happened in the past. So you might have to look up ransack. Okay, so let's go over the first one and remind you the process that you have to do for all of them. So first I need to look up um, what the word means. I can do that one of two ways. With a dictionary or I can also show you, let's see if I can pull up Google Classroom. So on our Google Classroom, I linked, I'm going to make this full screen, um, I linked in our websites an online dictionary. So if you click on online dictionary, where did it go? Oh no, it disappeared. All right, so we have an online dictionary um, I listed under websites. So if you click on that and go to this online dictionary, it should take you to Britannica Kids. Then I can type in the word that I'm looking up. So make sure you spell it correctly, in sis tent and I'm going to click enter or click on that little search insist means demanding attention or p 
persistent. It is an adjective. Another way of saying it would be firm and repeated. So in my book, I am going to write firm and repeated. Firm and repeated. The next step is I need to find where in the story was insistent. So in your PDF version that you reread re yesterday, go ahead and try and find the word insistent. So if we're looking at our text, the gold coin, it's going to be found on page 18, kind of towards the top, top here. Juan was half asleep when he heard knocking at the door and the sound of insistent voices. I'm going to write out where it was in the sentence. Remember, I'm going to put quotes. Juan was half asleep when he heard knocking at the door and the sound of insistent voices. And I'm going to period and then end quote and I'm going to go and underline insistent. Okay. The last step I would like you to do to challenge yourself is put an example sentence. Oh, before I did that, I almost forgot. I need to put where I found it. Page 18. So, after you do that, then I would like you to come up with an example sentence using the word. So, for example, my son is very insistent about asking to play video games. He asks me almost every single day to play Super Smash Bros with him. So he's insistent. He is firm and repeated about that. So um, I want you to follow along that same process with the word vague and ransacked. Reminder, ransacked. You might have to look up ransack because ED tells me it happened in the past. So look up ransack. You can do it in the dictionary or on that online dictionary it provided on Google Classroom. All right, see you next time.